So welcome to the second part of the measuring cup tutorial and here we're going to start off by making a small correction to the first um, extrusion that we made. Uh, so as I said it's um, not 13 degrees but you want to change it to minus 20. So here I've edited the extrusion to minus 20 degree draft angle and that should uh, give us the correct result. Now we can go ahead and trim these two surfaces. So let's select the trim tool, the curve and then the outer surface. Right click and we'll remove the outside. And right click swipe and then right click and say repeat last command. Select the curve again. Select the inner extrude and remove the bottom. And now you can hit the green check mark to complete this process. So as you can see we've created this trim. So now we can use loft to blend these two edges together. You can right click and select the loft tool and just select one edge and then this edge so you can make a positional continuity between these two edges. There are no rails here since we are just going flat so I'm just going to hit the green check mark. Now uh, we have this open face at the bottom of the cup that we can uh, patch using the patch tool. So just select the patch and you can just select the edges one by one. By default patch is going to apply a positional constraint. If you have some more curves in the interior you can define a different sort of a shape other than a planar shape. So since we have already finished selecting and hit the green check mark to complete. We'll start off this next section by creating a, a sweep uh, for the handle. So let's start by creating a circle in, in the left view, um, maybe about 1.5 inch diameter. Then move the circle up about half an inch. And we need to move this out of the cup. So let's go back in the top view and just drag it using grid snap to and just place it around here. Uh, the point is that I want to start sweeping from here and create the handle and then we can trim it into the shape that we need. So in order to create the sweep I need a path curve so I'm going to start with the NURBS curve and remove the grid snapping and then just uh, start creating my shape something like so. So here I just want to drag this point back into the middle but sometimes the on snap takes precedence and it snaps to the curve instead so I don't want that. I'm going to disable the snaps for a brief moment and then still use grid snap 2 to move this point here and uh, let's go ahead and create the sweep right now so right click sweep select the profile right click and then select the path you can see that there's some pinching going on here so we need to make sure that that doesn't occur so that means editing the path curve maybe moving this point or actually can even delete that point and um, maybe add another point, pull it out and slowly make sure that the kink is gone. So it's it usually happens when the points are close together so if you move it out it should do the trick. Double click this and make sure the caps are on and then hit the green check mark. This particular portion is the intersection between the handle surface and the main cup so we need to make we need to just cr move the sweep into place so that the um, shape of the intersection is somewhat similar to this uh, here we can see that it's a bit more uh, rounded uh, what we can do is we can select the circle for the profile then hit W and then just move that up until you get the desired shape so a, a second option is to do a rail sweep so for if I delete this let me create another circle and I'm gonna move this to the end of the profile that I've created but I want to make this a bigger circle so I'm just gonna make this maybe two inches and now use the rail sweep select these two profiles and then this rail and this gives me an increasing diameter across the rail and I can tweak the shape a little bit select the first profile maybe reduce it one the second profile 
then move that up so you can play around with the shape until the intersection of these surfaces matches the one that uh, you require so at this point I'm, I'm happy with the intersection here you can see so if we quickly do a uh, curves from surface intersection this is what you get and okay so I'm going to delete that and I'll enable caps for this because I want a solid the reason I did that is we need to cut uh, whatever excess we have here so let's start with a simple rectangle S grid snap make sure the snaps are back on and then you can move this up by 4 because that's the height of the cup and that's where we want to trim it double click make it larger and then this trim this surface with this curve if you end up trimming excess so you can always move the curves and see what happens so in this case you can see that uh, this is what I wanted so I just moved the curve down a little bit I've just cleaned up the scene here created a few more layers one for the uh, handles one for the main body and for the curves so I've just thrown all the curves into one layer and I've turned them off the next step will be to just create a patch and select the top and then hit the green check mark and use the combine to just box select all these surfaces right click to complete and then just select this and say move to layer and then move it into main body uh, now we have these two parts we can just subtract one from the other but I need uh, a copy of this main surface so I'm going to go to modify click on the duplicate and then just select this so I created a duplicate of this hide the previous combine do a subtraction of this and this which leaves me with only this handle and then I'll bring back the previous combine. One of the things I wanted to change was the shape of this handle. So let me bring back the curves. I think we can add one more profile in between these two. So if you double click, this is one inch and this is three, almost three inches. So let's add another one in between that's about two inches. So make a copy, move it here, double click and change it to two. So in order to change the sweep, we need to go to the rail sweep, which is this one. Double click it and reset the profile selection. So I'm just going to click on this to clear the profile. It will break because obviously there is no input, but we can start reselecting it. So select the first circle, then the second one, and then third one. So you want to make sure that this is flowing nice and smooth into the body. In the next part, we will look at how to add custom shelling to these two parts um, and also use the lattice tool to deform the front portion of the measuring cup to get this notch